Hey you guys, I've been wanting to get back into makeup, so I'm gonna start by doing the strawberry trend that I've been seeing all over the place. I'm going to be using this Black Radiance um, Baked Blush. This is the color Warm Berry. It's really nice, really pretty color. But you can see I have a little bit here already. And I'm just gonna keep underpainting to I like the amount of blush that I'm seeing. And I'm just using it right here around the perimeter or like on the cheek and then upper eye. I like it. So right now I'm gonna switch over to use this blush and this is the Putty Blush by e.l.f. And the color I'm gonna be using is Tahiti. So this is the one by e.l.f. And I'm actually going to be using the Putty Blush brush also to see if that helps with like the color payoff. It actually is a little bit more pink. Let's see where this goes. Now I'm gonna go in with this right here and it's the Juvia's Place palette, the Culture 2. Just picked this up, I haven't used it yet. So I like these colors though. They're all super pigmented and just like, wow. Okay. This color here, I'm gonna be using the Bentu color first. Ooh, it's very pigmented. And I really just wanna focus it on that brow bone and kind of smoke it out as if you were giving yourself like a pink smoky eye. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter color, and I believe it's called Yanga or Yanga. And that is this color down here. Just focus that on the inner part of my eye, like the inner corner of my eye. Very light, but it complements the blush. But I am going to be using this color, Jala. I'm gonna do it right here in the center. Drag it from the inner corner to the center. I like it. I went ahead and did the other eye off camera. Now I'm about to do my um, brows really quickly because it's really simple. I just used the Clear Brow Gel by e.l.f. and I used a good little spoolie brush. And I just put a little bit of that gel on the brows and brush. I typically would do this before I start my makeup routine because, or the beginning of my makeup routine because um, I don't want like product to get in my brows, but I wanted to have the pink kind of drag into my brows just a bit. This is by e.l.f. This is their instant uh, lift, instant lift brow pencil. It's the darkest color that they have. And I just fill it in just a tiny bit. I'm going to start with a foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Lancome Caring Glow Foundation. This is the color. So I'm just gonna apply it to the brush like this because this comes out pretty thick. This is just what I like to do, guys. You can apply your foundation however you want. Um, and this is the e.l.f. Liquid Halo Liquid Glow Filter. And I didn't apply this first because I like this one. It's a little bit lighter and warmer. Then I take my beauty blender or whatever, beauty sponge, and I pack it in a little bit better. And you can't tell on camera, but I can still see the blush peeking in a little, but I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Concealer, and this is the color Almond. This is their Skin Full Cover Concealer. I'm gonna take this and blend it in. Go in with a setting powder. And the one I wanna use is this Derma Blend right here. And this is the warm saffron color. It's by Derma Blend. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Juvia's Place um, palette and I'm going to be using the color uh, Bentu again and I'm just going to put this under my, oh, my bottom lash. Add some mascara. This is just the Maybelline Big Shot um, mascara in the deepest black or blackest black, I think that's what it's called. So I finally figured out why my blush wasn't picking up. It was because, anyways, I'm getting some color off of here now, as you can see. So we are definitely gonna brighten this up. We want strawberry, honey. 
And if we're gonna do it, let's do it, you know, all the way. It's okay, we got this. Gonna take a little bit of this bronzer. This is the Maybelline. Well, it's not technically bronzer, it's a finishing powder, but I use it as bronzer. And I'm just gonna the loose brush. All right, so color. I'm thinking to stick with the pink color scheme. Um, I have this best red, this is old. I don't even know if this is good, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And then I have both of these NYX glosses, which are pretty similar in color. They're not the same, but they're similar. So I'm thinking, instead of lining my lips, I'm just going to use this. And it's like a pretty true red, really pretty. And I'm gonna go with this, the butter gloss, no. I'm not, I'm gonna go with this one. This is the Shine Loud Magic Maker by NYX. The color is Rogue. It's like a gloss. Okay, I just wanted to make it a little like, pouty, little, you know. So now I'm going to add in a little bit of that clear gloss from the same and I'm going to spray with the Morphe setting spray. And honestly, who am I if I don't add a little glow to the cheek area? I Instead of using like a actual highlighter, I'm gonna use this. This is the Lumi uh, Glotion by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna add just a drop and I'm going to put it on both sides and right here and just pat it down. Last but not least, a little bit of this highlighter actually. And just brighten up the inner corner. So this is my strawberry makeup look. I'm only using a few products and all of them are very affordable. So if you like it, just, you know, give it a like, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.